Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what I was going to do today and I really can't do a whole lot outside because it's kind of a rainy day and I decided I want to do a little work on my computer. Uh, it's working fine, but it's a little sloppy right now. Ever since I moved in, I kind of just threw things together and uh, I, I really want to kind of clean that up. Additionally, a couple months ago, I decided that I wanted to add a couple of new external USB hard drives to my system. And uh, one of the problems I run into is a USB hard drive, by definition, is a USB device. So uh, the only option, since I've got so many of these drives and most computers don't have that many USB ports on them, I bought something called a USB hub. And a USB hub basically just, it's a whole bunch of USB ports that are all connected to the computer. And uh, I can put a lot of them on there and uh, power everything that way. The problem is I did one of these a number of years ago and I've literally just used up all the ports. So I purchased another one recently along with those hard drives. And when I got home, I was a little disappointed to discover that the cable that plugs into the computer and goes up to the hub itself isn't long enough to make the distance I want it to go. So what I'm gonna, what I gotta do is either move the hard drives down so they're closer to the computer, because right now the computer is right here on the ground. And a second point it right there. It's there on the ground. And that means either having the hard drives here on the desk behind me, which is ugly. I'd rather continue to keep them up here where they belong, or what I can do is raise the computer off the ground. And that seems to make more sense. So we're gonna do a little work on that. We're gonna clean this up today. We're gonna to get that extra hub installed. And that all starts by putting a shelf right here. Yeah. Sorry, never gonna be a weather person here. I can't do the, can't do the blue screen stuff. Gonna put a shelf right here. So first thing we gotta do is power down the system. See, this is what I mean by there's just a lot of things up here. I have a whole bunch of hard drives, hard drive, hard drive, hard drive, hard drive. Got a CD burner, DVD burner, Blu-ray burner here. This is that original hub I had, but like I said, it's only got seven ports and I need more than seven. So, and then additionally, I bought this hard drive a while ago and didn't even get that installed in here. Plus, I have another one of those that I want to hook up and put into here today. So like I said, I want to get it all in here and it all starts with getting that hub installed. All right, so I've succeeded in powering down the system. Um, we pulled it away from the wall. We've actually disconnected it from the uh, power so that we can work with it safely. And as it turns out, I have some shelving and the brackets left over from when I put the shelves in the cat bedroom. So I'm going to actually use one of these. Now, normally the shelves would be, you know, either this side or this side would be against the wall. In this case, this side is going to be in the wall and it's going to maybe stick out this far. So this shelf is going to stand out quite a ways and normally two of these uh, brackets wouldn't be enough for something sticking out that much. So I'm actually gonna kind of go in and edit from a couple different angles so that we can provide proper support for this because it's all gonna have to fit in into this little corner here. So I'm gonna have to cheat. I'm gonna break the rules a little bit, but that's okay, it's my house. Now I've taken this shelf here and cut it to the appropriate length. And basically what I wanna do is put it right here. Now, this is gonna be, this is kind of an interesting thing. This is just another and a big long list of things that show how unsquare this house is because uh, theoretically, if the, uh, if the back wall is, uh, t is flush with the back wall and this should be also flush with the side wall, but as you can see, there's a big gap in there. And if I go too much more into the corner on that side, then what ends up happening is it even kind of goes, kind of pulls it out a little bit. So this is actually where I'm gonna to have to do it and there's just gonna be a funny little gap there. We're just gonna deal with that because this house is not exactly perfectly built. Now one of the first things I gotta do is figure out exactly how high I want the shelf to be. And since I want the shelf basically to be at the same level as the top of the desk here, I uh, measured the distance between the top of the desk and the floor and that was 30 inches. And then I drew a little mark on the wall at 30 inches. So that's where the top of the shelf is going to be. So I got to get the, I got to compensate for the thickness of the shelf and then begin putting the brackets uh, a little lower than that. So since uh, the shelf itself is about half an inch thick, the top of the brackets uh, for the shelf should be about 29 and a half inches. And that should get me uh, right at the same level as the, as the desk top. Now, since there aren't any good studs in the wall that I can drive these things into, and it's gonna have such 
uh, important uh, stuff on top of it because this is going to be the main computer that's going to be on top of this shelf. I've actually uh, created a third hole here in the center uh, that is going to actually provide a little bit more support. I'm going to use some uh, heavy duty drywall anchors that I've used before but like I said since this is such an important thing and I don't want it ever falling off the wall um, I just want to attach it to the wall a little bit more securely than I normally would uh, because normally, like I said, I'd like to drive it into a stud, but I can't do that in this case because there aren't any studs in a convenient location. So each of the shelves, I've drilled a new hole uh, and that will help further secure the shelf to the wall. All right, so I got the first shelf bracket attached and now I'm just going to attach the other two using the same method and I'm going to use a bubble level just to make sure that they're all at the same height. All right, so I got the first two shelf brackets attached and I want to put the third one right about here. Now, I'm gambling, well, I was gambling because I already know the answer to this, but I was gambling that, that there was a piece of uh, stud back behind this because that's generally how they do it. And so I actually drilled a little pilot hole here and not only is there a stud behind this part of the wall, which I can use, uh, there's also, I forgot, a lot of times on the corners here, there's like a little aluminum piece there uh, so that you don't end up uh, crushing the drywall, uh, you know, if you bump the corner here. There's like a metal piece that's usually about this wide by this wide on the corner just to kind of protect this corner. And I actually had to drill through that a little bit. So that was, uh, that was uh, also there. But I think going into the stud uh, on that, that will just provide extra strength for me. And that's really what I want right now. I want this to be as strong as possible. So the drywall anchors are fine over here, but this will just stir uh, sturdy it up quite a bit. All right, so I got all three of these in, and yeah, there was a stud behind it. I had to kind of aim for it a little bit, but that's fine. It's not exactly the prettiest thing in the world, but it's going to be pretty well hidden. So we got the three basic shelf brackets at the right level, and now all I got to do is just attach the shelf itself. And it's basically going to look like this, and the computer will just sit on top of that. So that should be perfect. So what I want to do now is I want to drill some holes on the bottom of the shelf so that I can screw the shelf to the shelf bracket. And since the screws I'm gonna use are almost the same thickness, they're actually a little thicker than the, uh, than the wood itself, I'm gonna actually count for the fact that we're gonna have a little bit of the, uh, the thickness of the shelf, plus I'm gonna put a washer in there. And I've decided I'm gonna use the drill press to, to do that rather than drill it by hand, because since the screws are all, you know, virtually the same length as the uh, thickness of the wood, I don't wanna drill all the way through it. So if I did that by hand, there's always the possibility I'd have a drill all the way through the wood and then it have holes in the bottom. I don't want to do that. Uh, so if I use the drill press, I can exactly precisely define how deep it goes and they'll all be the same depth and there won't be any of that. So yeah, plus the fact I got the drill press, I might as well use it, right? All right, so I got my holes drilled. Uh, everything looks good and none of them went through. So that's what we want. So next step is to attach the shelf to the wall. Okay, first step is done. We got the shelf hanging on the wall. Uh, it's pretty secure. With those drywall anchors, actually, each one of them should hold about 75 pounds a piece, and there's uh, six of them there. So that's, uh, you know, you do the math on that. And uh, also, I got the three screws going into the stud. That helps a lot, too. Uh, so this should be actually strong enough that I could stand on it, but I'm not going to do that. All it's got to do is hold the computer, and if I weaken it now by standing on it, that might not be a good thing. All right, that's going to be much better, and once I push the desk up against it, you won't even see those cords hanging out the side there. Uh, I, left a, I intentionally left enough room back here so that the cords wouldn't get all tangled up, and also enough room on the side here so you get airflow in here, because we have an, a, an airflow invent here, so you don't want to push that up against the wall or you'll... Uh, destroy the computer's ability to control to control its temperature. So I think it looks really good. What I'm going to do, uh, we got a little debris on the floor from when we were drilling and stuff like that. So I'm going to vacuum that all up and then we're going to start putting this thing back together. Now, ever since I moved in here, I've had these power strips up on top of this uh, shelf here and it really looks ugly having a bunch of cords up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to permanently attach them to the back of this and then I can just run the power out of here plug it into the strips along here and it'll all be hidden. Uh, that's one of my mom's pet peeves and I guess it kind of annoys me a little bit too. Now it turns out at one point I had this one attached back here so I just reattached it to the same screws but I want to add this one too and so uh, what I'm going to do is just going to drive some screws into here and go right through the middle of the uh, of the uh, 
of these little holes that I placed on the end of it. So th this is just going to kind of mount like right about here. All right, so we got this one attached. Like I said, I just drove a couple of screws right into here and that worked really well. We did one on, on each side here and this is nice and secured. It sticks up a little bit here, but that's okay. Nobody's going to see that and provide, and it'll also kind of provide kind of a little backstop there. So that if something slides back too far, it doesn't fall off the back. So there's kind of a, uh, a fringe benefit that comes from that. So I think we're all ready now to just to start wiring everything back up again. All right, so we got everything wired back up. Uh, it's all kind of hidden in there, kind of neat. Um, and so next thing to do now is just fire it up, see if it all works. All right, here comes the moment of truth. We'll see if everything comes on now. All right, we've completed the reboot and everything seems to be looking really good here. All the hard drives on, my original one terabyte, there's the uh, CD, DVD, Blu-ray burner, uh, the eight terabyte that I'm uh, going to be putting the escaping the mouse stuff on, the brand new eight terabyte that I added, uh, Jordan's uh, Jordan the Lion uh, backup drive, uh, my old five terabyte drive, and my old two terabyte hard drive. So everything's there. So that's good news. That means that the that the hard drives that I reinstalled are looking good. That means that the new hub is working, and Definitely, I think this is an improvement over the uh, over the previous system. It's still a little sloppy up here, but I got some more work to do. But this is definitely better. It's neater, neater looking. Um, I'm going to put some new labels on it so it isn't quite so ratty looking, so I can tell what's what. Um, actually, that's just masking tape that I did uh, recently. But I'm actually thinking I might go and have some labels actually printed out and actually label everything and make it look really sharp. Because right now, yeah, okay, you can tell what everything is, but it still looks kind of garbage, right? So anyway, I think that is all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.